Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solution for Jira, and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Jira single sign-on with Okta, using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your Miniorange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on Take a Tour of the Add-on. Now let's proceed with the configuration. Click on Add New IDP. You can select Manual Setup Flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow which we will be covering in this video. Scroll down, and select Okta as an IDP. In the Service Provider Metadata window, you can view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So, firstly we are configuring Okta, as Identity Provider. Go to the Okta login page. And log in with your credentials. Click on the Admin button on the top right corner. From the left menu, go to the Applications drop-down. And select Applications. Click on Create App Integration. And select SAML 2.0 as the sign-on method. Now click on Next. Enter the app name. Then click on Next. You will find the single sign-on URL, in the Service Provider Metadata, in the plugin. Select Manually Configuring the Metadata on your IDP. Copy ACS URL. And paste it in Single Sign-on URL in the application. SP Entity ID is used to uniquely identify your service provider. Copy it. And paste it in the audience URI in the application. For the name ID format, select email address. And let application username be Okta username. In the attribute statement section, add the attribute as first name, and select its value as user first name. Add second attribute as last name, and select its value as user last name. Now add another attribute as name ID, and select its attribute as user email. Now go to the Group Attribute Statement section, and add the attribute as Groups. Select Matches Rejects from the Filter drop-down, and enter .asterisk to get all the Okta groups. Scroll down, and click on Next. Select the required information, and click on Finish. Go to the Assignment tab. Click on Assign. And select Assign to People. Now, assign the app to the people. Click on Save and go back. Click on Done. You can see that the user is assigned successfully. You can assign the app to particular groups. By navigating to Assign, and then go to Assign to Groups. Now, let's set up Jira as a service provider. Go to the Service Provider Metadata window, in the plugin. And click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL metadata file or manual setup we will be going with metadata url for now you will get the metadata url from the okta application go to the sign on tab scroll down you'll get the metadata url from the identity provider metadata link to manually configure the idp you can view the setup instructions here now click on identity provider metadata link Copy the URL of the page. And paste it in the metadata URL in the plugin. Scroll down. And click on save. You can see SAML settings updated message. Go down to the test and get attributes URL. Copy the URL. Go to the browser. And in the location bar, paste the copied URL from the plugin, and press enter. And you can see successful test configuration here, along with first name last name and name id you can scroll down to check saml request and saml response go back to the plugin and click on proceed in the user profile section you can map the user profile attributes while configuring attribute statements in okta application we had configured name id with user email as okta has separate attributes for first name and last name select yes from the given drop down now for the first name attribute, select first name. 
and for the last name attribute, select last name. Click on save and proceed. From this drop down, configure the default group, that will be used to grant application access to the user. If no group is mapped, then users are added by default to the Jira software users group. And from this drop down, you can choose which user would be assigned the default groups. Click on view results. And click on finish. Your IDP is successfully configured. Now, whenever any user will try to access Jira login page, he will be redirected to Okta, for authentication after some time. That is, the users will be forced to login, via Okta SSO. If you want to keep this behavior, then click on I understand. But if you want to change the behavior, and show both, Jira login page, and Okna SSO button, then click on sign in settings link. Now, click on auto redirect to IDP option, to disable it. Scroll down, and click on save. Now, navigate the configured IDPs tab, from the left menu. You will find all the configured IDPs here. You can view, test, edit, or delete your configuration here. You can also enable or disable SSO for Jira software and service management. As your test connection was successful, now you will see the SSO button on the Jira login page. Click on Use Corporate Login button. And you will be redirected to Okta login page, for SAML authentication. Now enter your Okta credentials. And click on Sign In button. You will be successfully logged into Jira dashboard using Okta credentials. Go to the user profile to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Manurant provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.